Hello and welcome to a skill of the week for a small mosaic project that we're going to do. Just a little break from our painting that we were doing for third grade, but I just wanted to give you a little background on mosaics. They started clear back in ancient Roman times. The Romans invented uh, this way of doing simple flooring uh, so that they didn't have to walk on dirt floors. So early, early mosaics of Rome were just used as flooring. And you can see little tiny tiles were put next to each other. Probably for the flooring, I would say they're about an inch square because I, I went to Rome and I got to see uh, ancient ruins that had these kind of floors on them. Black and white was usually the, the way they did it. But then as they got uh, more, I don't know, artistic, they decided to do floors that had designs on them, scenes from mythical stories, uh, that kind of thing. And this floor is, this. we can see it from above, but you can see that we have horses, and actually the, this, these are like seahorses. Uh, it's from Poseidon and his chariot of horses that are uh, pulling him through the sea. And you can't see the little tiles on there because this is an actual distance photo of this big giant floor, but they do look the same as this, little tiles next to each other. Okay, and they were ceramic tiles. And then they started to get even more decorative and uh, decided to start making wall decorations to tell stories. And when we went into early Christian art, we see tiles that are made of glass. And this one is in Ravenna, which is known for the most beautiful mosaics in the world. And if you look really close, you can see all these little tiny squares. They are smaller than the flooring squares. And they usually were set, like let's say this is the flat area, they were set just at an edge. So when the light would shine in, it would reflect off all that beautiful gold glass and the other colored glass, and it would shine like the sun. And so that they were pretty excited about doing that. I got to see this mosaic in person. It's at Gala Placidia, and it's a beautiful wall mosaic uh, above a tomb. And it's of Jesus and the sheep. It's showing him as the good shepherd. And all these tiny little tiles, all these little glass tiles right next to each other are kind of shading or creating this three-dimensional image uh, that we see on a two-dimensional surface on a wall. This is a close-up. And we can see all those tiny little tiles put close together. Isn't that neat? Okay, and you can see they're not flat. They're at an edge so that they catch the light. Okay, so we're going to do a heart mosaic. Since Valentine's Day was yesterday, we are going to make a mosaic using a heart. And we're, it's going to be a fairly small project, so you may finish it today. We're going to use black, a black frame, and we're going to use this purple to go on our black frame, and then you can use any color you want. But I'm just going to use my glue that you use from your bag of supplies. Make sure your glue is on stuck. There we go. And just a dot in each corner. Remember, a dot is a lot. You don't need to use a big glopping amount, and you just set it in the middle of your frame. Okay, see how it's not gushing out all over the place? That's so that it's not going to make a big mess. Okay, I need to move it down a little bit because it kind of moved when I showed it. Okay, so then I've selected some different colors. You're going to have, I'm going to show you where your colors are going to be. Okay, they're lined up next to your bags of supplies. Okay, and you're going to have lots of different colors to choose from. If you are a traditional Valentine person who likes all the pinks and the reds and, and purples and, you know, maroon, whatever colors you want to do that you associate with Valentine's Day, you can totally pick those out. Those are all over there. If you're not, if you want to choose some different colors, if you saw it in my video, you can see there's green and turquoise and light blue and purple and black. There are all kinds of different colors over there. So you don't have to be a traditional Valentine's person, but you're going to choose a small square first. And I think uh, Mr. Kramer is going to have that for you. This is where we're going to make our base heart. You're just going to fold it in half. Now, the fun thing about making hearts 
is you can do just about any kind of heart you want. It doesn't have to be a perfect shape. So don't worry if it's not a perfect shape. What I like to do is just make a curve and you can draw this if you want. You don't have to cut it right in there, but I've done this a lot. So I'm just going to make a fat heart. Okay. Notice it kind of looks like a teardrop that's stuck to a, a, a flat edge. Okay. So if you think of like a teardrop shape, that's going to help you make your shape. And then I've got kind of a fat heart shape. Okay, and I do have a negative shape here too. If I want to use my negative shape instead of my positive shape, I can do that. I can just glue it right on here and start gluing my, my uh, tile pieces if I want. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and stick with this. But you can use your negative shape if you want. So I'm going to do my dot is a lot glue again. I'm going to show you here like this. Two dots up at the top, one dot at the bottom, and then maybe just a couple of dots on the sides. So I basically have five dots of glue. Remember, they're not right up against the edge, and they're just a dot. You don't need a whole lot. I'm going to put that in the middle of my paper. Okay, so that's how I'm sticking it down. And then I, I have selected a few different colors. I've got maroon and red and light blue and pink. And I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it yet. I'm just going to start playing around with it. So I'm just going to start cutting my squares. Okay. And first I'm going to cut some strips. And then I'm going to cut the shapes that I want. So I'm going to stack them up like this. And then I'm just going to cut. And I got four cuts out of that. But quite a few pieces of paper. Okay. So I'm going to start that just around the top of my heart. And I'm just going to put a dot on each square and I'm going to go around my heart. And I'm going to leave a little of that white showing so it kind of looks like the grout that holds my tiles together. And yes, I'm allowing my tiles to overlap a little bit. That's perfectly all right. Just going around my edges here. I'll go up here and go around this corner. And this one, I think I'll just overlap it that way. And if it's not on there perfect, that's okay. It doesn't have to be. We're just kind of making a general heart shape. Remember, hearts can be skinny. They can be really fat. They can be medium. Okay, that's the last one of my tiles. So I'm going to cut a few more here. And I'm making them kind of small because my heart's small. Okay. And I got three cuts again. Might be easier if you lay your glue bo bottle on its side and then the glue is ready to come out but don't don't stand there like this with your glue bottle upside down because it'll start dripping okay so thinking about how I want to do this I might want to do a different color inside so I'm gonna I might use these so I'm gonna just put them off to the side I might do maroon I like maroon okay let's do a few strips of that cut those into squares or rectangles depending on how you do it and a drop of glue. And I can put these in however I like. Because maybe I'll fill up this inside. Or maybe I'll add another color. I don't know for sure. I'm just kind of playing it by ear. You don't have to have it all planned out. And I dripped a little glue right there. So wipe that up. There we go. Move that into place. There we go. That filled that spot. And even if you don't have pieces of paper that are exactly the same size, that's perfectly all right. They don't have to be super uniform. We're not making these perfect like the ancient Romans did. We're just making a piece of art. Okay, so... See, I've got a great big square next to a little square, and that's all right. And maybe I'll use these as a decoration around 
the outside edge of my purple frame. Okay, and then maybe I'll move to blue. I've got red here, but I think blue would really go with this. And I'll just do two strips this time because I don't think I'm going to need very much. And I'll just fill that space. Just a little drop of glue is all you need. You don't want too much because you don't want it being just a big glue filled project. Okay, just a little drop is all you need. And I'm going to overlap that a little bit. And then I'll stick one more in here. I think I'll take the smaller one. There we go. Okay, and there is my mosaic piece there. And then I can decorate anything I want outside of that. Maybe I want to make some little hearts that will go out there. Maybe I'll do that in red. Okay, so I'm going to cut this a little bit bigger and cut it in half. And I'll do another one because maybe I want four on there. Okay, so then I'm just going to make little ones. Okay, I fold, fold my piece of paper in half. Again, make kind of a teardrop shape. And there I've got a little heart. Okay, again, I'm only going to need a little bit of glue. Maybe I put a little bit there. Teardrop shape again. And it's not exactly like the other one, which is perfectly all right. Okay, another one here. Teardrop shape. My fingernails are not working to open this up. There we go. And maybe I'll just put one at the top. But I do like these little negative shapes. These negative shapes are kind of cool. So if I have space for them anywhere, maybe I'll put one down at the bottom. Oop, I just dropped it, so I'll just use this one. I'll hold on to it better this time. There we go. And just a tiny little drop. Don't want too much glue. And I'll just stick it down at the bottom. Okay? You can add whatever other decorations that you want to it. You can put mosaic around the outside. You can do more mosaic in here. But make sure that your heart stands out. And then write your name in the bottom right-hand corner and give it to Mr. Kramer, and he will put it on the drying rack for you. If you don't get completely done and you want to save your pieces to, to finish it up next time, just put your pieces, like you can have these, you can have any other little tiles that you've cut in your manila folder. And I have everybody's manila folders up on the table behind Mr. Kramer's desk. And you can just ask him for that and he will give it to you and we'll do that, finish it up next time. All right, we'll talk to you later.